a journalist for the Financial Times is feared to have been dragged into a lagoon and killed by a crocodile in Sri Lanka. Paul McLean is believed to have been snatched as he washed his hands during a surfing holiday. Witnesses said they saw the 24-year-old wave his arms in the air before vanishing under the water. Police and the army launched a hunt, but it is feared the crocodile may have hidden his body in the muddy lagoon. The crocodile is believed to have struck yesterday afternoon as Mr. McLean was washing his hands in a lagoon or river set back from the beach in an area called Elephant Rock, a popular surfing area for British backpackers, near Aragam Bay in the east of Sri Lanka. Fawaz Lafir, owner of Safa Surf School, near the scene, said he was learning to surf and after that he wanted to go to the toilet. He went in the jungle, about 800 meters. It was when he was washing his hands that the crocodile took him. A local fisherman witnessed a man being dragged into a river, set back from the beach, by a crocodile. The fisherman was on the opposite side of the river and downstream. The police were called immediately. They can't do anything because the river is deep and murky, it is not very clear. He added, they have sent out the Navy, Army and the task force, but I doubt they will find the body. The crocodiles take the bodies along river and hide them in the mud, so I don't think he will be found until the day after tomorrow. This is the first time anything like this has happened, Elephant Rock is always safe to surf. Another British tourist, who did not wish to give his name, said, a British tourist was at a surf spot called Elephant Rock. There's a lagoon right next to the sea. He went to the toilet next to the lagoon and was grabbed by a crocodile. There are lots in the lagoon. People last saw his arms in the air in the water and then was grabbed under. They are searching for a body but haven't found anything yet. The army were down and there are people put on boats checking the shore because crocodile won't eat anything in water, they will take it onto dry land to eat prey. They are 90% sure it was a crocodile, but a couple of the guys said there was quicksand in the lagoon. A few people that knew the guy were just on the ground, I didn't get that close, but they all just seemed in shock and not saying much. Crocodiles use their powerful tails to swim up to 25 miles per hour, which is almost as fast as Usain Bolt's highest recorded sprinting speed. In Africa alone there are several hundred crocodile attacks on people each year. Between a third and a half of these attacks result in fatalities. Crocodile attacks are far more common than shark attacks, but because many take place in small and impoverished communities they do not receive as much media coverage. The two breeding crocodile species in Sri Lanka are the mugger crocodile and saltwater crocodiles. The term mugger comes from the Urdu word mager which translates as water monster.
Experts say poking a crocodile's eyes or hitting its nose can save you during an attack. This is because both are sensitive areas. Crocodiles first appeared on the Earth 240 million years ago, and they can live for up to 80 years. Each crocodile jaw has 24 teeth that are meant to grasp and crush, not you. Crocodiles swallow stones which help grind food inside their stomachs. During mating seasons, it is not uncommon for crocodiles to become increasingly aggressive. There were a large crowd of Sri Lankan men surrounding them, and they had bits of paper. Another shocked man, Sean Carroll, from New South Wales, Australia, wrote on Facebook, a croc just took a tourist bloke in Sri Lanka. He was walking on a beach where a small river meets the sea. It's named Crocodile Rock for that reason obviously. He still hasn't been retrieved from river. Heavy dot I'm sure he was close to the river for it to take him. Police looking an army too. There are two different kinds of crocodile that live in Sri Lanka, the marsh or mugger crocodile and the estuarine crocodile. There are believed to be thousands of marsh crocodiles spread throughout various water bodies in the island. In April of this year, a 13-year-old girl was attacked and dragged away by a crocodile while she was enjoying a day out with her family at Pulniwa Lake in Galniwa. The girl was reported missing by her family, who said they saw her being dragged into the water by the large reptile. Prior to this, in July 2016, a 60-year-old Sri Lankan man was also killed in a crocodile attack. He had been fishing in the Payundan River in Samantharai when he was attacked. In November 2016, a 17-foot crocodile, which weighed nearly a ton, was found jammed in a waterway in the southern city of Matara. <laughs>